Hello and welcome back to another episode of my Noodles All Boys Save. And before we get started, I just want to apologise if I speak even more weird than usual because I've just come back from the dentist and my mouth is pretty completely numb. So apologies for that. And also this episode, there's a lot of information that I want to tell you guys. Um, so we'll get straight into it. And we're in January, so there's been a chunk. There's been, I think, 21 games played. I'll show you them after the transfers. Um, so after we left um, the last episode, I just showed you um, uh, Carabali. Just It was just him that we signed. Um, and Claudia Dar left. So since then, we replaced um, Claudio Dar with Roger Gustavo. Um, perfectionist, you know, he looks decent. He's been playing on the wing, um, on the on the right. You know, he looks pretty solid. There's a few things he needs to work on, I guess, finishing. Um, could be the next Ronaldo, Brazilian Ronaldo, so that's pretty amazing. Um, I personally don't see it because of the finishing and the strength, maybe. Um, but apart from that, yeah, I mean, he's a similar style, you could say, sure. Um, but he's been pretty good. We spent big money, we spent £10 million on him, but I needed another brilliant player um, and then we played you know 20 games off camera and then the transfer window was opened and then this is where I sold a, a player in the youth and loaned out a few um, Junior Fernandez has left for 2.5 million could rise to 3.5 he just wasn't getting the game time um, Gazza Allen looks really good he's now on loan um, hopefully he gets some, some matches under his belt now in a, his professional um, career his pace is incredible, so yeah, I think developing well and definitely will get an appearance for him for, for Newell's in the future. We sold um, Matthias Martins, 1.5 million. Didn't really do it, I mean, you know, he's had a few loans, hasn't really played, I don't think he's actually played a league game for us, but I mean, free transfer, £1.5 million pound later, it's not too bad. And then Garrido's out on loan, and I would have kept him on if I knew what was going to happen after this. And uh, I'm sure you've already seen what's happened. But, um, yeah, loaned him out. Hopefully he can get a few games under his belt because he's, yeah, last two. I mean, he struggled really bad, actually. So it's probably a good thing. Um, and then this player who, who's been really good this year. And I'll show you. You can see his stats um, here. So far this season, he, he had nine in the league and four goals, nine assists even. And we sold him to China for 16 million. I couldn't really say no to that. 16 million is a lot of money. And then Jamie, really sad. He's vibe with 32 million. We sold him for 20 million. Um, his stats are incredible. He was labelled a wonder kids. I mean, Dortmund, he really wanted to go. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't reject him. Dortmund's such a good, a cool club to go to as well. And you can see uh, 10 assists, 7 goals as well. Really, he was a, you know, probably the second best player of, of the squad. So I was a bit gutted that we only had seven, um, 20 million for him. I know I think the clause on Jamie 30% of his next transfer fee will be owned to us so owed to us so that, I think that's pretty good going it's not incredible but what can you do um, so yeah 56 million out so far and then the only sign that I've just made now is is this guy 18 years of age from Ecuador just looks like a really really good deep line playmaker or advanced playmaker however you want to do it Um I'd probably say deep line because that's the way we play our football at the moment um, on support. But yeah, passing technique, vision, amazing. Off the ball, yeah, that'll go up surely. Um, decisions will go up, and that's and composure and all, all the good stuff. He's going to be incredible. So really happy with that. Um, I think that obviously concludes all the transfers. Um, and I think because there's so many things to mention, I'll I'll get into the schedule then. Um, we obviously beat ATM last game but obviously lost the, 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 the tie overall so it's just been the league and as you can see incredible form it's only Independiente we lost to and who are our closest and Boca are our uh, league title rivals put it that way but we've got a 5-2 win over our, our you know big rivals I think um, yeah, yeah big rivals you know Perez T you're getting a brace you can see on the right we lose to Independiente next game um, Prez Tika Gustavo getting his first goal for the club I'll show you some of the uh, the goals now but you can see you know, Perez Tika is, he pretty much pops up in all in all the games to be honest um, but I will show you like the play that we've been it hasn't been incredible but 
it's sick it's near it's, i think we're going to click now and we'll get into even more better form i, I would say which i'll show you this game we smash banfield they go one nil up um within 10 minutes and then we obviously turn the game on its head and, and smash them but there's some really good goals in here i think the first one's my favorite if if it is correct oh no there's a different match i think but um yeah ray puts it into Fred's Deacon pops off for Jamie and Jamie just smashes it in. So yeah, it's just a show a few goals really. Um Sosa to Sioni, I think he swears it then to to Rhea. He just puts Prez to get through. Easy finish, puts the good it sends the keeper the wrong way. Um Prez Tika as well, I'll show you I don't I'll show you after, but he's now got hundred and six league goals for the club, and that's the highest league goal scorer. And he gets another win in the game. So he's now a twenty just in twenty one, he's the club's all time top goal scorer I think so that's pretty special and he won South American Football of the Year as you can see this goal there Roger Gustavo scores an absolute worldy um, showing glimpses of, glimpses of being uh, in the same category as Brazilian Ronaldo surely as Sione smashes one in from distance um, I think as well it's been Sione and Rhea um, I think Gustavo gets a header down the yeah, back post but Jan Suarez has been in and out of the team but I thought I'd give him a couple of games you know to to see if he can worm him, worm him his way back into the into the uh, start eleven. He gets an awesome long shot there. He reminds me of like a Raquelme, but without free kicks, so not as cool. Um, Ricardo on the winning form with Perez he gets another hat trick. I think I'll count his hat tricks. I think like end of this season, over the last this season and last season, and see how many he's got. Um, we get a draw here. Well, we have two draws. You can see um, McAllister. That's the team that always. Yeah, I hate this team. And McAllister, I think he's like always just pops up and always seems to score and oh, irritating. Um, in this game, annoying again, but you're going to drop points from from time to time. This is the game where the the first goals are quite special. Diaz runs down the wing, and it's just really good play with Jamie Diaz and Perez Tika. It's just so slick, and Perez Tika gets a hat trick in this game, and yeah, he just makes makes it look so easy. He's not been in. As clinical form as he was last season, I don't think. We'll check the squad stats after we see these goals now. But, um, yeah, I mean, he's still a special player. And he just goes on a mad, mad run here. So it's a pretty lush hat trick. Burns past two. And then he just puts it into the bottom right corner. And we won't watch the other two goals because they're not for us. So who cares? We beat River Plate. Sione Perez Tika with the, with the goals. Perez again against uh, Rosario. Um but obviously we beat Boca previously as well for Aztec and Diaz. So some big results. We'll play Independiente today. I'll show you the league. So we're five points clear. Boca and Independiente on the same points. But if we you know get a positive result against Independiente, then I mean the, the title is ours to lose. As you can see, we've got a couple of games. We've got the Super Cup of Argentina, which is like the Cup of Argentina winner, like the previous year and like the current year. I think that that's what it is now. And then we're in the Libertadores group stage, which I think I'm quite happy with. The Venezuelan team, Peru, and Brazil. I think we know everyone knows that this team. They look pretty good, but you know we should be able to get through that. So that's exciting. Um, I'm just trying to see now the squads. Obviously, we've lost a few players, but Perez Tika has 22 goals in 23 games. I've rejected a few bids to 28, 30 million from the Chinese clubs. Um, and obviously Jamie's gone and he had very good stats and, and Diaz um, and things like that. So our squad's really small, as you can see. Lissandro Luck's been like bumped up to the first team, maybe a bit prematurely, but we'll find we'll see, I suppose. But yeah, he's he's developing really well, six foot four. Really interesting player. Um and yeah, we've got like a backup left back who's not gonna you know, he's just there for, for numbers really. So I need to really uh get more players in. Messi, I did agree to loan him, but he just doesn't want to come now. As you can see, we've got 30 million in the bank, 300,000 wages, so I, I was going to loan him. Where is he now? Um, and he's, I've done it three or four times now, and he just doesn't like the idea, so he rejects it. So Barcelona are happy to loan him to me, which is really getting, but um, yeah, so hopefully Messi changes his mind in the future. Because I think a year or two with him on loan would be the perfect scenario. I don't mind paying a bit too much money, but yeah, I think that would be really cool if we can get Messi. Um, there's a few players I'm looking at as well. I don't know what it is. I think I just have to buy the right player at the moment. 
you know, there's not too many out there, you know, that I really desperately want. And we'll see how things develop anyway. Um, so we'll get into today's game. I'm pretty sure that's everything covered. If not, I'm sure I'll remember what it will be at the end of the episode. So yeah, big game, Independiente. And we'll see how uh, this game pans out. Um, I think we'll go for this side. Yeah, there's not many people to choose from. So it's uh, Valentine in goal. Andrade, Sosa, full-backs, Fernandes and Miranda, the usual centre-backs, Sione, Ria, Julian Aquino, Roger Gustavo, Carabali and Perez Tique. Aquino was, is wanted by Chelsea, not anymore, but he had, like, all window they wanted, he was wanted by them, so he, he's obviously one to keep an eye on. He's been injured a bit this season, um, he does have bad injuries, so yeah, the fans love him, I love him, but um, yeah, he's a... Uh, you know, trying to look after him. Um, Carabali's had a good, you know, start. I would say. You know, it was free transfer. He's quite young. Um, you know, yeah, he's done well so far. So we'll get into the game. Um, squad numbers. Oh yeah, new signing. Who I don't think. I think he's on the bench. Eighteen will do. Sandu Lux can have a. Hmm. I think he should have some sort of like flair number. Let's give him forty-nine. Don't know why. Um, yeah, my mouth is a little bit numb, so I'm like starting to feel the effects halfway through this episode. Um, right, we'll get into it. And hopefully, they don't do the double over us. Because I pause this, so I can change the body language. Because it'd be nice to beat Independiente and not just win the league by beating everybody else. As we whip it in, Sioni was for a long shot, goes again, good save. I think I will tweak a few tactics. I've changed a little thing, you know little like player instructions and things like that but I might mix up some of the corners and the long throws maybe and go shorter and try and keep hold of the ball a bit more I think it is effective but also like I think there's been a winter update and I imagine they've probably stopped that from being so effective as Marco Ria gets his first goal of the game who he's he's our captain obviously 20 years of age he's a brilliant centre mid absolutely love him and hopefully you know we we'll kind of stick around Perez League has had a few, lot more assists um, this season than he has in previous. And he, he's developed loads. Um, I'll try and show you at half-time, but he's like got 17 in his attributes now. He's like developed a few more 16s. So he looks like a brilliant player. It won't be long until he plays for Argentina. We'll probably have a little look at Claudio Dar as well after the game. As it's a good play from the New York Warriors as Aquino. He shoots early. I thought he could have carried on. But yeah, at the moment we got basically Perez Teak is labelled the next well was labelled the next Batistuta. Roger Gustavo is labelled the next Brazilian Ronaldo. So it's not too bad of a partnership, I would say. As we yeah, still long throws, yeah. You can tell that's been uh, <laughs> the match engine has definitely been updated. He did not get that in the box. And that could bite us in the in the rear. Um I'll have to change that I think. As Martinez Goes for goal. Yeah, I think after this off camera, I'll change the, the, the throw ins and have a little rejig around. A Sioni would like to play up from the back. Yeah, a lot of our players always get interested. We got properly, like, our players got, you know, taken away from us in their this transfer window. I don't blame them. You know, big clubs and Chinese clubs, no offence, but there's a lot of money there. As we look to get our second, we look like we're really developed own in this game um, so far. As Rodrigo, uh, Roger Gustavo, good save. As Baca go one and up, Sebastian Villa. Can we get anything? No. Yeah, obviously forty million pound like can do a lot with that. So I've, that's another thing. I've improved the youth facilities. Um, I think they're going to be exceptional. I think they're getting built, or they've been improved. No, they're getting built. I think the training facilities are, are great as well. And I've increased junior coaching badges to exceptional, um, and like re youth level and like youth recruitment as well. Like all of them as high as I can until like, you know, they they completed. And then like I think you can ask again like three months time or so. But I'll show you the facilities afterwards. But yeah, that's it's gone quite well. And obviously, I need to show you as well. 
some quite big news. We've had a youth development. Um, I think I will rename someone as well in the in the episode, but we've got an incredible regen as well. The only thing that isn't so incredible about him is his physicals. If he had good physicals, he would be like, you know, maybe a messy contender, you know, but we'll see. I'll show you afterwards, but it's quite exciting. As that brings us to half time, 1 0, you know, nothing to get too excited about. I think this season, obviously, we've only lost one game, but. And we've smashed some teams like 5 2, 7 2. But we've just like, beaten them by a goal a lot of the time. Kind of shows that we just get the job done, which I like. I say this, we won't get this job done now, will we? But it kind of just shows the team's quite solid. I think the Copa Libertadores, I really want to have a good go at this season I mean I say this season it's like the end of the season but you know next season obviously it overlaps both but I don't have the ultimate confidence in the squad because I don't think it's the best one we've had as we nearly get a second I think Claudia Dar on our team is definitely the best and having Jamie on the left at the moment I think we're just like going through a little bit of a rebuild again and you know Gustavo and Carabali need to like settle so Considering they're both not Argentinian either, they need they do need to get used to it. As Perez Tika can't turn and shoot. Um, and I've got like maximum foreign players now, so it's difficult to. Like, I really need to get some more. Whoop, hit the mic, more Argentinian youngsters in. As Perez Tika gets a header on it, good assist from Carabali, and a good header from Perez Tika. Surely that's not the end of the game, but we're in a very comfortable position now. Perez Tika obviously won the Golden Boot in the league now two years in a row. Um, he won South American Football of the Year, as in not in the world, just like in South America. I think second was Barbosa as we go 3 0 up. Um, and he got like 48 games in the calendar year, 50 goals. I think he had like an award last year that was young or something, or a South American football, and he got pretty much more goals and games. I think it'd be really cool if he can like do that like quite often get so many goals. Um Lissandro Lux, I know he doesn't play there yet, but let's get him wide target man. Let's see how it behaves. Um Joan's falls uh Ooh, we'll get nah, yeah. Alec can have his debut. I forgot I bought him and I'm over the moon because he looks absolutely incredible. Joseph yeah, I need to stop those throw ins, man. Um Joseph Ayala looks yeah, looks incredible. Lex is back, nice. He does look pretty, pretty much like a tank, don't he? Yeah. The defending. I, I like um, tweaking it. Obviously, I like having like the formation we play, but it would be nice like getting different styles in. You know, like having a wide target player could be quite cool on the left, or, like or on the right. Like it doesn't have to be on one side, but um, yeah, like a big physical presence. Um, maybe even like playing with a Mazella sometimes. Maybe if you know, and. As we look to attack, Rhea over the bar. Yeah, I think Mazella, um, white a white target man could be quite cool and fun. Um, obviously, like the classic, like fun ones like Libero could be one in the future. Um, I think we'll get on him and his get his legs out there. As yeah, we kind of brush aside Independiente. I don't even remember them having like a, a solid chance. Um, so I speak too soon. But yeah, looks like we're going to beat them quite comfortably. As Prez oh, I thought he was put through them by uh, Aquino. Aquino's good, I like him, big fan of him. You have to manage him like, a little bit careful because of the injuries he's had, as it looks like they're going to pull him back. Oh, but he's offside, I think, anyway. So yeah, we end the game most likely 3 0 winners. And the league maybe looks like it's going to head towards New Orleans Old Boys for the second time in a row which would be a massive achievement um, especially with like, our squad getting kind of torn apart halfway through and being a small team anyway it's being very small I actually got a steam achievement at the end of last season I think where it said two months without an injury and I got an award for it like throughout the whole squad which is mental so definitely had a little bit of fortune with injuries I would say sorry if you can hear the uh the bin men, loud as ever. 
Um, if they're too loud and like shouting and stuff like they always do, I'll just edit this part out. So as you can see, 19 matches in a row without without losing. Uh, we'll go into the youth candidates. They were oh, already happened. Okay, I'll try and remember who the players were. The incredible one, Patricio Corti. I mean, he's just in 16 years of age as well. Like just like last month, 16 first touch, 16 teamwork, 17 flair. But then he's got like off the ball movement, long shots, heading, passing technique, determination, work rate, bravery, anticipate. They're all solid and. Even the tens and nines, I would be like very like they're going to be very good. So crossing, dribbling, uh, finishing. So I just get lost in them. Uh, free kick taking, like, long throws that'd be nice. Um, be no against vision, but this physicals there, you know, isn't going over ten yet. But they, if they do all shoot up, then you expect them to get like thirteen, fourteens maybe. So yeah, it'll do. Um, <laughs> he's not labelled anything. Like the next so and so yet, so yeah, not getting too carried away. Oh, we're here. Tom's doing all right. Progressing. Seventeen. He still got a chance. Um, we got this guy. Just you know, uh, so we're just keeping him. See what happens. Like he can't. He, you know, he's got so many tens. Basically, we'll see. We'll see what happens with them. Um, there was a decent. There's another one here. Like he looks like he could be quite interesting. Um, you know, nothing special again. There's a centre back that looks pretty good. I think it's this guy. There's two of them actually. We'll go on this guy first. As you can see, yeah, six foot two. You know, he's, he's all right, quite brave and stuff. Um, but Rafael Contreras, six foot. <laughs> you can definitely hear those bins going. Um, I thought he's more like aggressive than that. We'll see anyway. Um tackling's obviously as strong as hell. So yeah, we'll see we'll see how they uh they progress. Um and I was thinking of renaming someone this and I'll think it's either either Raphael or Leonardo. He's got twenty bravery. And yeah, I'll play him there, he's six foot. 40, yeah, 14 aggression, 20 bravery, he can tap, yeah, uh, bin man, well, you know, they're just doing their job, you can't, you can't be mad at that, um, I'll go back now, I'm all, I'm all over the place, where is it, this wasn't the guy, what was it, I'm just, I'm just so confused, where was I, 20, yeah, there it is, um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a centre back, casual, nice, 20 bravery, 14 aggression, 14 tackling. I think um, another one who's been viewing my videos and um, commenting is uh, Chris Nelson. And I'm hoping this guy can turn into, if they try and skin him, he'll just, he'll snap them and he'll put his head literally anywhere. Um, so yeah, we'll see how he develops and we'll definitely, well, I mean, he's valued 400,000 quit or you know quit already um so yeah surely he's gonna turn out all right so i think yeah we'll leave it there um apologies if the end was just a load of bins getting thrown out um i'll definitely play the league games now and i'll see how the libertadores go but maybe it might be like midway through or towards the end like the next round because i'm quite confident we'll get there obviously i'll if the league keeps going smoothly, I'll get to the end or to the game where we would win it. Um, it's things like that. It's been quite an, not an easy season, but yeah, let me know what you think anyway. Like, Perez Tika must hold on. You know, Sione's wanted. Um, like, who tell me who you need. You know, Lissandro Fernandez is wanted by Roma Inter. Like, there's no way we're going to be able to keep on to him. So, yeah, let me know what you're thinking, like, transfer like, wise. Like, who we need to definitely hold on to, who we should cash in on. You know, should we keep going for Messi all the time? See if we can definitely get him. Things like that. So drop in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, um, subscribe. And yeah, just thanks again. And I'll see you guys next episode.